It's about 8 in the morning right now and I just finished getting ready to climb Mount Fuji. So I'm all tricked out with all of my gear. I got my hiking boots on and I got my hiking backpack in the back right there with like all of my snacks and water and even my winter clothes because it does get really, really cold at the top of the mountain. I even got my little mountain hat. For the, just for the occasion. So it's gonna be about an eight hour hike up and about a four hour hike down. And it is an overnight hike, so we'll reach the top by sunrise. But it's gonna be a long day, a long hike. But I'm definitely really, really excited. I can finally check this off my bucket list. I am climbing Mount Fuji. Let's do this. Okay. I made it to station five at Mount Fuji. Uh, right now I'm above the clouds. So it's really exciting. Uh, we'll be leaving shortly for the hike soon. It's really cold. It's maybe about 50, 60 degrees outside, so I don't know how I'm going to do on top of the mountain. Gambate! <laughs> I've officially started the hike. I have the stick. I have the skyline. I hope the light isn't blinding. No. Okay, good. Yay! I'm excited. So about two hours into the hike, Baby steps. It's very cold. But I think I'm doing good. <laughs> Made it to station seven. How are you feeling? <laughs> you know, I'm managing. <laughs> Better Basically than I thought. Basically, I'm, so, I'm like, I'm, everything's cold. Everything's cold. I didn't realize how short my breath would get after all this hiking, but oh, I'm making it. I'm huffing and puffing for sure. It's the same, same. Yeah. About less than an hour from the top of the mountain, and I'm running on power of will at this point. Everything hurts. When I say everything hurts, everything hurts. But I'm almost at the top, almost there. I've almost done it. I've been tested. I'm so tired. Slowly becoming less and less ganky as I keep getting higher. The end is in sight, and the sun is already starting to rise, and we're basically all falling asleep where we stand. <laughs> I'm so tired. I hope it's worth it. There, just absolutely nothing. This beautiful view. The seasons will change, the sun will come, the seasons will change. Done it. I've made it to the summit. It ended up being more like a 10 hour hike. I'm exhausted in more ways than one. But it was, it ended up being worth it. So we get to so. be between these two lions. Yay! <laughs> this is a view. So, I got my class stamp, my stick, so I got the last stamps, and now I'm just looking out at this amazing view. I promise I'm safe, but I do regret now having feeling in my toes now that the sun is coming out, because my feet really hurt. But there is ice on the mountain. Some ice. Let's just 
chill him out. It's the coldest shit up on this mountain. I have finally gotten back home after climbing the mountain. It's about 12.30. I have been awake for over 36 hours now. I am so tired and a little delirious, but I did it. I survived. I'm here. Am I sore? Yes. Am I completely exhausted? Yes. Is my spirit broken? Maybe a little. Not climbing Mount Fuji really tested me. It tested my endurance. It tested me on so many different levels. I took about a total of 16 hours to climb the mountain. It took 10 hours up, six hours down. Mount Fuji is a volcanic mountain covered in ash from head to toe. I probably have smokers lung now from all the ash that I breathed in on that mountain. Climbing up the mountain was a very sharp incline. Now I know why that exercise is called mountain climbers because that's pretty much what I did climbing up the entire mountain. I wasn't on any cliff edges, mom, but I was definitely climbing a mountain. <laughs> Going up the mountain was difficult in that I had to deal with altitude sickness. Near the summit, I started to feel really nauseous. Um, everyone around me was vomiting and I was like trying to look away. I am not getting sick. <laughs> and then going down was just really difficult um, because of just the straight, the harsh decline. And so you're just gonna be, you're just sliding down the mountain. That's what I did. I slid down the mountain. I got lots of rocks in my shoes, which caused me to get lots of really bad scrapes on my ankles. And I have a ring of bruises that's slowly starting to appear now from all the rocks that were stabbing me for hours on end and my toes are turning purple from being shoved into the tip of my shoe for six hours straight. All of the pain that I endured both climbing up the mountain and climbing down the mountain was all worth it just to make it to the top and see the sun rise and be miles above the clouds. It was like nothing I've ever seen being on top of the world like that is something that you just, you can't replicate. It made everything worth it. And also just the overall sense of accomplishment. There was a long journey that felt absolutely endless. Climbing Mount Fuji was the greatest experience I've ever had that I never wish to experience again. I am happy with my decision to climb Mount Fuji. It was on my bucket list and now I can check it off and now I never have to do it again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me endure this really brutal experience and I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. The sun will come, the seasons will change.